Why, everybody? Well, since I keep thinking it's Saturday every day, I thought I would actually just video, make a video on Saturday. Um, <laughs> got People's Magazine. <laughs> this was a gift from my daughter. Does she? <laughs> the sweetest girl. I'm actually reading a really excellent book. I'll show it to you. So anyway, he says, the doctor said to stop eating like a teenager. <laughs> I had to go get um, an inhaler. <clears throat> oh, and all my tests are back. The pap smear came back. Everything's fine. Um, except I have to see an allergy guy. <laughs> Which, if you hear my voice, you can understand why. So anyway, I hit the dollar sale. So I got strawberry sugar wafers. Okay, so I shouldn't have bought that. I, I shouldn't have bought that. And then I bought one for my son. They're uh, milk taco with almond. And this is for my son. I swear. <laughs> it's for my son. Um, these, though, short breaks. Oh, does that not look good? And I got 12 tall trash bags for a dollar. And I bought some magnesium. I'm going to try it. And it's only 500 so I think I have to take two of them. And then it was buy one, get one free. So I need it be complex. That was low one on my list. I got some paper towels, which are not a deal at a dollar. Because they're mine anywhere for 98 cents. And I bought this cream. It's almond cream for dry to very dry skin. Um, by Nivea. Essentially, it's essential rich. Doesn't say anything about it. Um, Amanda was looking them up on the internet. Because they changed the formula to that oil and it wasn't working as well. Hard to talk to Kim. And um, she had said that that one was like 10 points. And finally, Amazon delivered. Got toilet paper. <laughs> now I have to recycle these time boxes. Too bad the kids aren't around. We could be making stuff with this um, soap, clothes soap. And I get face cream. Also, Ice cream. <laughs> oh, and for all of those that made comments as to whether the comment was made to my granddaughter, that's what caused all the problems. Because yes, it was. And um, here, hold on. Figured I might as well sit down. Um, and yes, the comment was made directly to my daughter, my granddaughter, and was quickly swiftly uh, corrected by her father. That's why I was so mad at it. You know, you know, they just told my daughter about it. My daughter would have just blown it off and said, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but it's been dealt with. My granddaughter is beautiful. They are just big children, but they're fine. I mean, she, she can wear her mother's clothes. So what does that tell you? I need water. My voice is off. <clears throat> I'm not complaining. But I should have done a nebulizer treatment at 5 o'clock when I woke up. Um, we've had wonderful weather for two days. It's been rainy. I actually had to pull my down quilt up yesterday morning it was just so cool um people were turning the furnace back on i said not me mm -mm. I just put on a sweater i am fine i'm digging this I actually took a little walk in the rain it was cool um so i just thought i would <laughs> since i kept thinking it was saturday saturday oh gossip <laughs> Not that it will be gossip to you guys. But you know that t-shirt I got that said, uh, get rid of all the Republicans, keep the immigrants? 
that was from the bee lady the bee lady that's trying to get legislation passed that I can't use weed and feed any no anything on my yard flowers whatever I like a, she lives about I don't know three blocks from here so I'm easy access for petitions which I have not yet I've managed to get out of like two times from signing but I mean it's it it it's a you know I have you know I really think that yes that you know we need to be very protective of the bees but I'm not gonna hand dig dandelions I'm sorry I weed and feed twice a year in my yard I don't think I've ever once touched a bee and the bees are very sensitive so they wouldn't land on my grass and it doesn't get on the flowers or anything I, 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 you know, I don't know. It's just me. I don't like to be told to do stuff. So that's my big haul for today. Toilet paper came in the mail. Um, laundry soap, face cream, and all the junk I'm not supposed to be eating. Okay, I gotta control myself. So, like, okay, July 1st, I'll start controlling myself. Because, I mean... July 4th, I, which I celebrate and hang my flag correct, not upside down, but correct. Um, God, that just bugs me. I'm having a spasm in my eyes. The doctor said this caffeine. Oh, <sighs> well, I maybe might film some stuff while I'm out. Maybe. Um, you know, this is when it's like strange because it's like, do I want to really sit and tell all these people about my channel and all this? Or I could just do, do some film footage and put it on without their knowledge, which I think is not really good. So this is where I'm at. I mean, you know, my family all knows... Um, my son is also a YouTuber. He's the one that encouraged me to do this. Um, yes, a way bigger YouTube channel than I have. <laughs> it's so much bigger. It's like ridiculous as to how much bigger it is. <laughs> I'm like the, the nobody. <laughs> He's the somebody. I, I don't think he would judge it that way nor I would um, I think anybody who turns the camera on again I you know encourage you to you know see Andrea's life I'll put the link below I mean she's you know she's a beginning youtuber um, even though she has quite a few videos um, but I really enjoy, like I said, her authenticity. Um, it, it, Andrea is just who she is. And remember that, Andrea. When you start talking in that camera, you are just who you are. Say whatever you want. It's, it's quite all right. Put her link. Anyone I mention, I try to put their link. Anybody. So I have to get ready to go. But I just thought I'd show you my my big link. I mean my big haul. I shouldn't have bought 99% of it. Really I shouldn't. Oh well. July 1st. I'll start to turn over a new leaf. Is that what they say? I love all these idioms we say. Um when I used to interpret for the deaf, because uh, I used to be part of one of my past lives, past jobs, where I was an interpreter for the deaf, idioms were the funniest thing, because deaf people, they just don't understand, like he kicked the bucket. Well, why did he kick the bucket? They take it literal. And you say, oh no, that means he died. 
And they go, why don't they just say he died? <laughs> oh, I fixed my bracelet. It needed the removal of four beads. So I took off four and it fits fine. Except this, I'm going to have tear it apart again. See how pokey this is? It's catching on stuff as I put stuff on. And so I have <laughs> to... I think I have some of these, uh, what do you call it, gunmetal type, um, really nice clasp. I'll just go through. I got tons of beads and clasp. Find something that's not as pokey. Because um, it, it I, I wouldn't have thought it being that little that it would poke on stuff, but it sticks out and catches on some of my clothing. <sighs> no, third time's a charm. <laughs> well, I have to get ready to go. Bye. Hi, Tanya. I think today is just a good day. I didn't tell you the news. So anyway, apparently somebody complained about our meters, that they thought our meters were reading wrong, our electric meters. Guess what? They are. I got a $158 rebate from the company. It's like, whoops, this hasn't been reading right. Yeah, I changed my shirt because the other one was just too low cut. And everybody seems to love this shirt. I got another Pyrex given to me, a Pyrex dish. Real nice one, it's deeper. And so I made them up. I made her a dish rag. Well, you should say thank you. And I would have sent her a card, but I mean, I can figure out her address, but I don't really know how to spell her name. There are lots of Buddhists, and it's like near da, near something, near uh, something. I know. I told you the story about when I moved in. People have their names on their mailboxes, you know, at front of their houses. And it, we thought the chick's name was Amoeba. It wasn't Amoeba. It was... I can't say it now that I said Amoeba. Because, you know, the children's father looked at me and said, Would you really name yourself after the most vicious single-cell organism on Earth? I uh, said, so, I don't know what her name is. I mean, I thought it was Alternator. Because they, blah, 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 so fast, they invited us over for tea when we're dragging stuff in. And we had to politely decline. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we had a moving <laughs> van. <laughs> it's like, oh no, we're <laughs> not paying those guys any more money than what we have to. <laughs> well, I gotta go.